Hey you guys, this is Nathan. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the background of an image. Where you might start out with an image that looks something like this, where it has the background, it has you, or maybe it's an animal, or maybe it's an object, and you wanna cut it out of an image. Well then, I'm gonna show you how to cut it out and get it to a state where you're able to add it to another image, you're able to move it around, it's able to just be on its own. But I'm going to show you how to do that, not with using um, paid options or anything like that, but do it completely for free using a photo editing software called Photoscape X. It's available for PC and for Mac. So what we're going to do today is go from the original image and going to cut it out. And because I already went ahead and cut this one out, where it's just a straight shot of me looking into the camera, I'm going to do one again here but it's gonna be me looking off to the side with this kind of confused, concerned look. I use these images for my YouTube thumbnails, so I wanted to have a variety of poses and expressions to be able to use for different videos. So for this image here, what you're going to do is you have it in the cutout tab of Photoscape X, and you'll just go to the viewer, editor, cutout, and then you'll navigate here where you have the folders. I have a file called Headshots, and I have a bunch of different images here that I've taken specifically so I could remove the background of them. Now, one thing you're gonna learn in this video is that it's very helpful to have just a very plain background. What I did here actually has a bunch of different stuff going on and similar colors as well, which is gonna make it a little more challenging. But if you have just a simple, plain background or even a green screen, that would make it so much easier to remove those backgrounds and make it almost automatic, where you might have some fine tuning to do, but nothing like we're gonna to do today, where it's gonna be even more complicated, just because sometimes you wanna be able to use parts of photos that you may not have taken initially and said, oh, I wanna remove the uh, background here, you can do that right now, um, and you can do it with any image, no matter how complicated it is. So what I encourage people to do is first to learn the magic eraser, lasso, and the brush tool, so you know how all of them work. Let me go with the magic eraser. Basically, it's going to take a part of the image that you click on, and then it's going to say, hey, what colors are similar to it? So I can remove all of them quickly, but the challenge is if you click on one, it could remove too much of the image. Like in here, it's removing part of my face and part of my neck. I can even use some of these different colors here to show what's actually being removed. But what's nice is that even if you remove too much, you can go to this tolerance slider and you can decrease it and make it not as strong. So then you can keep just what you want and remove only what you want. Now, of course, you're playing with a tolerance slider, maybe you can't get it exactly perfectly, and that's what the other tools are good for. But what's nice is you're able to go and click around and remove a lot of the image without having to go and do it all manually. But that's how the Magic Eraser tool works. It works really well, and I'm glad that it's here. There's um, a comparison of how it works with Photoshop, um, or like versus Photoshop and Photoshop definitely wins out because they have so much more um, AI and software learning in there, but this works fairly well. So let me go back and then I'm going to show you how to use the lasso tool. The lasso tool is great because you could draw like a circle or a shape around something and then it will cut it out. Now you might think, wait, what if I wanted to draw a circle around what I want to keep? Well, that's actually really helpful and you can do that because you could draw a circle around your main subject and you could take a long time to make sure it's you know pretty perfect or as close as you can but then down here in the bottom right you have what's called invert mask and that means you can cut out the opposite it flips your selection so instead of selecting the person now you're selecting the outside of the image to get cut away and that's super helpful so that it's a quick simple process and you're not trying to draw like inverted circles and silly stuff like that. The invert mask tool is very helpful for removing this. There's also a restore button where you could draw a circle to restore part of the image. So if you had part of the image, you said, oh, I wanna save that, you can draw a circle around it and save that portion of the image. So that's nice, but it's more useful in this final tool here, which is the brush tool. The brush tool is great because you can go and you can erase just part of the image. I'm gonna erase this circle here on the left side 
and you can just draw over that and erase it. You can change the brush sizes, really helpful. You also can go in and hit restore and you can go and restore that part of the image as well. So if you ever cut in too much and you want to fine tune and take something uh, back out of the selection or uh, to remove it more, you can go to that brush and you're able to make that work as well. So to remove uh, the rest of the background here, let me show you how I would do it. I would open this up. I'd say, oh, it looks like it's a complicated background where if I were to try to use a magic eraser, uh, some of these shadowed areas, it's going to do my entire shirt and it's going to be a mess. I can play with the tolerance sliders to try to get it to be where it's going to, uh, where I want it to be, but it's going to be challenging. So what I would encourage you to do is just go to the lasso tool and I would just draw and making sure not to cut in too much, but also not wanting to waste too much time later. Go and draw a cutout for the shirt, uh, for my entire person around the shirt as well. So you have that, I'm gonna hit invert mask. Therefore, you have this image in here and you've cut out a good chunk of it already. At this point, I would just go in and try to use things like the magic eraser. See if there's ways that you can just cut out just small portions of it. Whoops, that's way too much. Tolerance slider. See if you can, what you can do with the magic eraser because it will save you time. Um, oops, I want to increase that tolerance again. But remembering that it's not going to be kind of the end all for your project. You're going to have to be a little bit more uh, picky and choosy later. And it's mostly going to come down to the brush tool late into this, uh, late into the video here. Also, hair is something that you always kind of have to keep in mind. If you don't have a good green screen or background, you're going to end up with some trouble around the hair. One thing to remember is that if you're going to add this image back into maybe another, uh, like to a background or something, putting it into a background that had a similar color is helpful. So like over here in the editor, um, this image turned out really good that I cut out. But what's nice is that if I put it on a white background, it actually looks even better because then it's not showing little imperfections in the removal. Uh, because like there's some little white spots in here and different things, but it looks really great on a white background. So definitely do what you can, but there's little tricks to hide imperfections if you didn't have a green screen or didn't have the perfect um, setup when you were taking the image. Uh, you can definitely get around some of those things. All right, next, uh, going back here to the magic eraser. Just cutting out more of the image, trying to save me some time from spending too much time using the brush tool. Just clicking around in here, trying to save a little time. I try to keep these videos short, but the challenge is that to really show you what the process actually is, does take time. It would be, it wouldn't be fair to you to be like, hey, you guys, here's a two minute video on how to do this. And then it actually takes you, you know, maybe even up to 45 minutes to do a project. And you're like, that was not fair. I didn't think it was going to take that long. He made it look so easy in the video. So I show you the full process in my videos. Unless if there's um, a reason I need to speed it up. And that's when I let you guys know that I speed it up. All right. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to the brush and I am just going in and I'm manually removing parts of this image. So I can zoom in close and when you have it clicked, when you select, select and you click into here, sometimes you end up seeing more detail of what you can remove and what's not removed. So that's really helpful. And yeah, I definitely encourage you guys to select like the green setting or one of these selections over here because it saves you so much time, honestly. Um, when you're removing parts of the image. Uh, but yeah, I'd love for you guys to let me know, what are you guys gonna use this uh, remove tool for? 
what kind of projects might you guys be working on. And then also, if there's any projects that I can help you guys with, if you're kind of stuck on a project or you're working on some kind of an edit or using a new t piece of software that you don't know how to use, definitely let me know because I love taking a crack at those uh, random softwares or different projects where people are like, man, if I could just get this working, you know, I worked for a boss who he didn't have a ton of knowledge of how computers and everything worked. I remember sitting down with him one time, showing him how to comment on an Instagram post because he couldn't figure out, figure out the icons of which one meant comment. So like I had to walk him through different things like that. And it's something where if you didn't grow up with it or if you're not familiar with it, it does seem like a foreign language to you. It does seem super weird and random and doesn't make sense. So I love to be able to make sense uh, for people. I used to teach, uh, I used to teach uh, character education um, in schools, and I really enjoyed doing that. And so many times, it was trying to make that connection where kids would connect. Oh wait, actually no, that does make perfect sense. That's why my life might be having some rough spots in it, um, or why different issues. Or, you, you know, there's always drama in your life or different things. There's always things that you probably should uh, be looking at closer before you just say, man, my life's terrible. I must have done something wrong. It's all karma. Nope. Just going to be just going to have an awful life. You know, um, so many times it's, you know, taking a closer look at things or asking for help. So you guys, if you do need any help with a project, definitely just let me know and I'll see what I can do. We're getting a bit closer here. The question would be like, do I save my eyelashes? <laughs> this is something where like in Photoshop, I could save my eyelashes. In Photoscape X, eh, not really. It's, it's limited to an extent. Like it's not super crazy limited, but there are certain things where you have to look at and say, hey, it is a free piece of software. Be thankful that you even have access to remove these parts of the image. Um, I actually really like the fact that the scroll wheel here does roll you down on the image. I actually haven't really done that before. That's really helpful, actually. But yeah, if you think I'm being too detailed, it's because I get comments saying, hey, you showed the quick way of how to do this. You know, come on, show us the show us the more detailed way of how to remove a background. So... I think I'm showing you guys a little bit more detail than maybe in past videos where I've touched on this subject. Ooh, oh yeah, nice. It's always going to be a little bit challenging around the face and just how close can you get those um, removers, removals. And then also it's just uh, looking at it after you're done with the project, after you've exported it the, for the first time, just looking to see if it's exactly what you want, or if there's something more than I that I have to edit out. All right, because like in my this one here, I used to I had like a part of my hair that was sticking out. I decided to remove it, and that helped out to make the image just look so much better. So it's taking a look at what you have, and what you might want to remove to improve the image overall not saying that you know oh man i gotta now cut that out of my hair it's like no it's just that there's times where there's certain things in your image that end up being distracting and you can remove that and it's not too big of a deal all right so i've zoomed out Oop, i guess i have a little bit more down here um one thing that's still nice is that even though you cut it out uh, you still can go back and do some edits and stuff like this one. I think that'll make it look better. Personally. All right. So we're going to zoom out now. That's what the image looks like. And I can definitely still see that there's a little bit of gray up here at my hair uh, that I might have wanted to remove. I could zoom in real close and try to remove just minuscule parts of that. But the rough part is that some of that gray is just literally just in between your hairline and all this stuff. And it's like, what do you do? 
you know, you can't do it perfectly every single time, especially if you're not using something like a green screen or something that's going to protect against um, those in-between moments where it's green screen or is it you. So um, I can go and hit the invert mask and I can see that I have cut out just me. Um, I can look back and say, okay, it looks pretty solid. Um, I'm not gonna get the perfectness on the hair, things like that. I'm not too concerned about that uh, just because I'm not like putting this on a gigantic poster or something and people aren't gonna be like looking super close at it. So uh, this is my third photo that I've cut out. So I go and hit save out. All right, now I'm gonna hop to the editor here. We have this first cutout that I did. Let me go to images and I saved it out. And here is the cutout that I just did. So sure enough, I have this right here. It looks pretty solid. If you do zoom in, you can see maybe up here a little bit of white here that I could go back and remove. I probably will remove that. But the rest of the face looks okay. The shirt looks fine. It actually looks like I might have kept too much of the shirt over here in the corner. It ends up being personal preference and what you think or how picky you're going to be. But yeah, that's how you would remove uh, something from an image. It's saving it as a PNG file type and that lets it have that transparency. So if you go and you post this on a website or uh, even a social media site, that allows for transparency. Um, or if you, you know, add it into another part of an image. Uh, yeah, we're gonna replace that. Nice. Or if you add it into another part of an image like this for like a thumbnail or something, that can be extremely helpful. I'm gonna close out that I'm gonna I saved out another version of it, so I'm gonna put that in. It looks a little bit better around the hair. Yep. But yeah, what's nice is when you get this all done, you can increase the size, you can increase the scope of it. So then I can say, oh, it's me looking off in the distance and this side of the image could say, um, it could say something like, oh, whether it's, uh, Photoscape X questionable updates or uh, the new stimulus bill, blah, 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 blah. You know, different things you could do with the text here. Um, um, but yeah, I really appreciate what they've done with this software, what Photoscape X has done with the software. And nonetheless, you guys, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful to show you how to remove the background of an image See you guys. Bye.